<laughs> oh, so <laughs> I, guess, I guess we are. <laughs> oh, I guess we are doing that. <laughs> Reseller Clickbait Podcast, episode 67. We're still here, folks. Jimmy, old school flips on YouTube. I'm here with Ken AARPS. No, it's just SSK <laughs> promo on YouTube, Instagram. And we also got Corey. Corey is Graham's and pops vintage on youtube with his wife and then he has a different instagram what's your instagram name because it's like it's grams talks. and pops pops yeah, yeah it's talks with grams and pops talks with on, grams and pops on the instagram yeah so Corey is is still here you know there was questions after that that first episode if if Corey was actually a member of the show so uh well at least for yeah. the time being he's still Anchored down there in the bottom section. Ken and I had a vote. It was one to one. So right now it's still split. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to know it again. Which way? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're never going to tell you. <laughs> so now it's one to two, but it has to be a unanimous. So we're not going to tell you yeah, who voted to keep them. <laughs> so we'll keep him around until we can persuade uh, the other guy yeah. that voted, you know. Uh, you hold that, out. That we'll keep him. For a little bit. Hey, uh, how was everybody's? How was everybody's week, man? It it was a great week, I think, for all of us from the podcast perspective. Uh, just so much love out there in the community. The, yeah. the the first video back was, you know, got a lot of views. We got just so many comments. Just so appreciative of everybody. And um, hopefully, it was we the can. thumbnail. It was the thumbnail. My my work on the thumbnail is what brought everybody over. I'm taking all the credit for that thumbnail. It wasn't anybody <laughs> else's idea at all. <laughs> it was definitely a lot of fun. Now, did you have fun, Corey? I feel like we picked on you a little too much. No, I had a lot of fun. And when I got <laughs> yeah, done with the show, Graham yeah, picked on me more. So you guys were you guys were easy. Even other podcasts are making fun of you, Corey, at this point. Like with what with your performance <laughs> and maybe some of your actions outside of the podcast. <laughs> Yeah, we took yeah because yeah, we we found out that um, Corey is the opinionated one. Yes. on the show, you know, over there at the uh, we got some some mentions and some love. Oh, it, it, we also got w w Jimmy. We have to make maybe take a vote again. We got our first thumbs down. First thumbs down. So thumbs, the, again, you know, we're going to continue to pick on you, and this this isn't picking though. We are another. I think some we'll of be it unanimous is, on this one. Some of it is, in fact, you know. Some of it is, in get, fact. You know, Jimmy and I go with this this spotless streak for all this time, and then Corey's on the show, thumbs down. You yeah. know, it was great. I don't know. It was oh, Graham. Graham. <laughs> She's a feisty Graham's. one. <laughs> she said, "You guys have changed. I'm out of here." <laughs> so, all right. So you're still responsible then. For the thumbs down, or can you? You have I no. You can't so. stop her. You can't stop her. Oh no, we. Yeah, responsible by association, maybe, but <laughs> guilty by association. <laughs> Very little recourse I have on this side. So you guys hear that? Corey's responsible for the thumbs down on the show. It's probably right, so what you, you know. <laughs> I'm bringing the diversity then. <laughs> We're mixing yes. it up for you. And the opinions, you know, Caleb over there at the two old guys. <laughs> reselling podcast yeah. uh, oh uh, okay apparently i messed up when i was talking about them you know my good you know lifelong buddy caleb you know we spend yeah. you know christmases together our families <laughs> get together and, and we have uh, <laughs> we have fun but uh he's the, we he's... apparently we forgot now now jimmy i think contractual we can't we didn't miss the other guy Right. Well, actually, I just found out there was another guy on the two old guys reselling podcast. <laughs> There's another guy, the guy <laughs> yeah, with the accent. The two. Wait, they both have accents <laughs> to me, anyways. <laughs> besides, besides Caleb, there is Chris <laughs> Picker. Oh wait, Jimmy's reeling back there. Oh, that's contractually <laughs> we're not supposed to mention another old school, uh, you know, within our podcast. But Chris <laughs> Picker. Over there at Two Guys Old Reselling Podcast, he's he's a good friend and and. Do you uh, have any thoughts on that, Corey? I I do. We just got back on the air. Maybe don't don't be picking on the other the other host over here. Is it picking though? Is it? <laughs> Can't be mentioning the other old school at all. Well, I have the I have control of the edit button, so we'll see how that goes. So yeah, so Chris. <laughs> 
picker over there at the two old guys reselling podcast. Shout out to him. He's a great guy. Got to to meet Chris and hang out with him last year at the 127. Uh, we, ate, you know, ate dinner together uh, that evening. Just had a had a real good time. And and uh, but we were we were getting some love over there, and they were they were talking about how you know we didn't mention him, and then they got some viewer mail over there at their channel that had came from from grams and pops vintage from Corey and Teresa had sent uh, a gift to Chris pickers uh, email or his uh, mailbox addressed to Caleb. So now he's not even getting any love, right? Getting any love there, which was, uh, that was a, that was a funny <laughs> little segment on there. Uh, Caleb showing, <laughs> showing all this stuff. I would have mailed it to like, just some random YouTuber, like two, two <laughs> Kayla gold pass, and like sent it to Kayla, right? And then she, yeah. can you put in, can you forward this to Kayla, right? And then make her responsible for it. it, and don't don't directly forward it to him. Find another you and let's just have this thing go to like ten different YouTubers before it finally lands at Caleb's address. <laughs> but hey, speaking of that, we can participate in that that train of getting mail over there to Caleb. Now, yeah. I kind of I feel, you know, I feel official now. Over oh, here at the the um Resale Clickbait podcast, we now have a a PO box or a a mailbox to right. you know, for the DOG to get all of that fan mail. <laughs> that people have been, just been holding because they haven't had a way to get it to us. Well, they may have, but Chris <laughs> Picker, he won't forward it over to me. You what know, kind of stuff do you nowhere. think we'll get though? What kind of oh, what, what, I want? Uh, what kind of stuff do you think people will send us? <laughs> I will probably just be showered in gifts. But showered. down in the in the description is a uh, is our new box, our new mailbox that we can receive some uh, if. If someone was so inclined, we we joke and we kid, but if someone did need to get something to to one of the three of us, we do have an official mailing address now for the show. So check I'm that guess out. I'm glad I don't and, have to check that mailbox. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. You know, and, and I will never I have did, to buy macaroni and cheese again. He's going to get gifted macaroni and cheese. Oh yes, oh, or maybe so, maybe somebody will start sending me. Dude wipes. <laughs> the, the that's, official what sponsor. Get, that's what I'm gonna get. Anybody that knows me is gonna send me those. <laughs> you know, the the minty chill kind. I like the minty, the minty chill. They're the best flavor of dude wipes. Have and, you tasted uh, those before, Corey? No, I have not. But I but I can I can imagine. I tasted them on the show. They're 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 actually not as good as one would think. But um, so yeah, I'm, you I'm working. You know, on yourself. When you say one, you mean yourself, because no one else would think that. that <laughs> We're gonna try to build, uh, you know, build build up this show. Get us some some sponsorships. I'm working right now to get us some dude wipes money coming in for the show, and dude, uh, so that not only I I use the product. Sometimes, sometimes <laughs> multiple times in a day, you know, not that that's a, a podcast discussion, but no, this is a full pod. We're, we're switching well, the whole on. As, long as, the on the as long as we're, as long as we're there, are they multi-use? Can they be used as like hand wipes and things like that? Or are they strictly for <laughs> you can back you can, you can well, blow you, your nose, but don't do it before. Don't do it after. Yeah. Only before. You, uh, you can use One them use for multi-use things. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And it's, a, there's a progression of order. Yeah. You might, you might be able to wipe your hands, but um, they're intended use and they are, North they are South. flushable. I buy these, I buy these uh, right now. We're going to get us an affiliate link for this stuff, but um, you know, next thing, you know, we'll be, uh, we'll be <laughs> shilling all kinds of products and, and stuff like that, you know, cause that's, I mean, that's what you do as a podcast, right? You just, you shill in other the products and, and in, in the same money. thing, yeah. you know, Fleet Frank, we could talk to Fleet Frank enemas. <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> well, I, there's another podcaster out there. I think he has he has Fleet oh, in his back okay. pocket. Yeah, um, you're probably right. Darn it. You know, it's kind of nice yeah. that Frank's only one of two, though. Yeah. Well, no, I have exclusive. I have a whole case out in the other room. They uh, just you know, need I can start, eyes or whatever those eyes are called. I get my my sweatshop next door. 
uh, to start um, <laughs> to start gluing on googly eyes. You know? There went half our audience. <laughs> Ken's family just unsubscribed. Shop <laughs> next. <laughs> He's talking about his phone. He's my, talking about his phone. <laughs> my first glass of the season of cider Coke Zero. We're getting to fall. Mm. Apple cider is in. It's That's starting to come out. I got a big gallon from shout out, you know, shout out to Apple Hill over in. I don't know what city it's even in, but they got Apple good Hill. donuts, folks. They got good hey, donuts. Oh, look at this, too, right here. That's I mean, you guys. That's Bush League right there. That's Bush League. You guys just talk amongst yourselves. So I'm going to eat this donut. <laughs> I don't know. I hate to try and knock something before I try it, but I just can't imagine cider and Coke Zero tasting good together. Well, you know, I grew up in in my house. My dad put any kind of flavor into his Cokes. He put lemon. He put vanilla. He put chocolate. I mean, you name it, cranberry juice. And so I grew up adding flavors to my Coca-Cola. So when Ken mentioned that, I was like, that has to be amazing, and it is. It's amazing. And it's, yeah, you tried that, right, Jimmy? Last year, oh, I yeah, think last great. season, it was. Well, my my thing is, I'm just too lazy to wash this cup, and so whatever, <laughs> it's already flavored. whatever. When I have to fill up my cup, like if it's getting down, you know, I, I usually go pour just more Coke Zero. But if I'm feeling like drinking something else, some lemonade. It's like uh, a cast you know. iron pan. It's all cured into it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is. And uh, so last year or the year before or whatever, when it was cider season, you know, the glass still had, you know, half Coke Zero in it. And I just filled the rest of it up with, with apple cider. And it's like, oh, man, this is this is good because you kind of get it's, you know, then almost like a carbonated <laughs> right. apple cider. It's it's great stuff. I recommend trying it out. I recommend if you're in our area, trying now, Apple Hill. So if somebody's looking for something to send to Ken in the new mailbox, maybe a new flavored cup. No, just send him I, gallons and gallons of apple cider and see if it makes it there without busting. Yeah, open. in the mail. I'm sure they'll be happy <laughs> with mail. us. The first the first shipment that I get is you know a, a leaky a <laughs> leaky box the, of the, the of owner apple of the store is going to have a, have to have a talk with you. On the, um, I do I do want to give a disclaimer real quick. I do believe that is no longer Coke Zero. If you add that to it, it is no longer Coke Zero sugar. Wait, seriously? Does, does apple cider have sugars in it? Oh, yeah. It's oh, yeah, I mean, it. So it's if you add like the cider sugar. to your Coke Zero sugar, it is no yeah. longer zero sugar. For those it of is. you that might be on a diet or something, you don't want to think yeah. you're still drinking a zero drink. You're missing out on just a big, big glass of diabetes benefits. at that point. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, let's support you. That's that's a good point too. If you're diabetic, you might want to consult a physician before <laughs> before taking something. advice from the reseller clickbait podcast. And I don't but, mean to yeah. make light of that because that's actually true be careful <laughs> hey maybe i could get some apple hill money next thing you know hey, you know man. next thing you know we'll like to say the whole show will just be shilling products no. and we'll be out there on instagram and tiktok and we'll be making you know oh, yeah. user videos we're gonna have multiple oh. tiers of a patreon at least 75 tiers and yes. the lowest one is gonna be 25 dollars. so you can do the math on how high the high <laughs> <laughs> we dream big here yeah, we dream big. Nobody's gonna join, but we're gonna have them. Ding it! You know, I that made me think those 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 donuts. You can yes. ship a donut, right? Oh yeah, I'd be yeah. drop shipping those suckers like crazy from that. Fe- hey, if, if Apple not Hill even start- drop shipping, I I'd list them and then if I sold some, run down that morning and and ship them. If they want to uh, <laughs> send out money, you know, Apple Hill wants to send me some money. I'll start shipping their donuts. Oh, I also in. got. Not only do I have this. Big yummy one. I got a bag of what they call their misfits. And they're like the donuts that didn't fry up well or didn't, mm. uh, you know, they just kind of look ugly. They don't look good in the yeah. case or in the box. And so we got this little bag of misfits. They sell for just like a couple bucks. Oh, but they were wow. even better than the regular donuts because like they were thinner and not as formed as well. And so they got like more of a crispy, crispy mm bite to the oh i just like the idea. The floor. it's like the misfit toys 
But for fat yes. people, it's the misfit food. <laughs> I actually love that idea. It's actually, you know what? We should delete this out because that's like a cartoon that we could make or like a Christmas special. The Island of Misfits. Food and just a bunch of- no one wants a donut in a box <laughs> or Charlie in a box or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Whatever the, the toy, the sentry guard there. That's I'm just sitting here enjoying my my donut and uh now I do notice it, you got a new hat behind you. I want to ask you about that. Is hmm. the Nash is that Nashville Flippers? This is this is an UAC. This is an UAC brand hat. <laughs> For those of you that watch the Nashville Flippers, that'll that'll Have you ever be heard fun. of that brand, Corey? UAC. UAC. I had not. Nope. <laughs> that I was got new this, to me. I got this hat from uh, my good friend Ray over at Nashville Flippers. He was having a a whatnot auction, and uh, he was doing another hat. Ooh. But he had – Jill actually bought this one from from Ray. Oh, and they did come – you know, I'm going to just do a personal note. These were supposed to be signed, Ray. You know, nothing here. Not signed. But – this one I bought right off of Ray's head. This is the one he was wearing on the show. He ran it, and it, is, it is an UAC brand. Now, uh, real quick, yeah. I made two of these with the purple bill. So this is a two-ac brand. A two-ac. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, you get one of one with the UAC. <laughs> no, really, when we were on the show, Jimmy and I were on the show with Ray and Angie Resells and stuff, and and he was showing we were doing a skipper flip episode. Yeah. Um, and and Ray's showing this little piece, and he's like, and this is an UAC brand. I've never heard of UAC before. O O A K. And uh and so what's going on? He's look at look yeah. at all these other UAC brand items that you know I've and never heard of that. So Bolo Alert. Star- all of us on the panel were like, f- like frantically looking up this brand, and like, there's ten million listed. Like, what's going on? Yeah, it's like, the, well, and so you know, finally, someone in the chat's like, "You guys are kidding, right?" <laughs> that UAC O O A K stands for one of a kind, <laughs> and like Angie, Angie, uh, Angie Resells was on the panel with us uh, from. Angie Resells from over there at the Let's Do Lunch podcast with Kristen. Check that out on Fridays. Uh, they were doing some <laughs> lives. They're back to pre-records. That's a great, great podcast over there as well. But UAC, it's not a brand. It stands for one of a kind. So this is a one of a kind. Nashville Flippers bought this right off of Ray's head. Oh, so see. I got a little bit of Ray's, you know, <laughs> Ray's musk. You know, raise natural <laughs> muscle. He knows there because as soon as he got it, he went. Yes, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now well, I got to no, actually. I brought that this in for the well show. For, the it's like, <laughs> <laughs> for you viewers, did our listeners, did that make sense to you? What happened? I brought it in here to show it on the show, but oh, normally it's just been on the pillow beside me on my bed. That's you know where I've been keeping this, just so that I have uh, you know, I can just picture him hugging it while he's sleeping. Have a little bit of Ray, <laughs> Corey. Uh, right is that an me. UAC hat? Isn't that an UAC hat you're wearing? Tell or is there more? This is. Where this did is you get? Because I remember you got that or something, right? What's the story behind your UAC hat? Well, oh yeah, I had a viewer send me this one. I almost forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I actually did have a oh, I, did order, <laughs> I did order one of mine in a different color because I like this one so much. But yes, a viewer actually sent me this. Now did so they send really that cool. via someone else's P.O. box? <laughs> Please they, they, they sent it yeah, to I mean, my box. Okay. Carol. They didn't, send it to, <laughs> they didn't send it to Chris <laughs> Picker. Then oh, have it forwarded to you. <laughs> no, my viewers are Jimmy, nice. that's <laughs> breach of contract right there. <laughs> Hey, on I your own con- part, you're the one I that have, wrote up the. I have control. Yeah, we of the can distract them. Bye, dude. Why? Bye, dude. Wipes. Bye, dude. <laughs> For those <laughs> listening, Corey's got a dude wipe sign already. Um, he, he's our. I, I'm, I'm. I have control of the beep button, and I've been able to beep Ken a lot of times. And I'm going to tell you right now, I have got a lot of pleasure and enjoyment out of that. And that actually sounded awful. I got to beep Ken. <laughs> <laughs> and I got hey, out of whoa, it. whoa. Hey, there's <laughs> only there's only room in my bed for one reseller, Jimmy. One flipper at a time. So, <laughs> my bad. What, what just happened? 
something. I just got it. <laughs> Jimmy doesn't do words <laughs> very well. And that's funny. <laughs> but you know, we could do those dude wipe commercials all over the place, right? Like what Corey just we need to do more like oh we could edit do it up. Bye, dude wipe. Bye, dude wipes. <laughs> uh man, the the graphics, we have to work on the graphics budget yeah. on this the graphics, show. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, the art department didn't even want to talk to me. I had to make this myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't that wouldn't translate well to like a TikTok. That that edit. Yeah, Jimmy, you you're you are a bit salty again with TikTok oh, yeah. this week. I brought yeah, don't give don't give me well. I wasn't salty. Let's I just, get him, Corey. Let's get him started. Let's get him started. Get, um, <laughs> I guess I was. So I, I watched a lot of TikTok, and I usually stay away when I go on there for like per, just to relax. I stay away from the reselling side. You know, I can hit the people I'm following and watch the ones I follow when I want to. But when I'm relaxed, so this day I wanted to watch. You know, it was, I was way behind on the people that I follow on TikTok, and um, I came across a video where a t- TikTok talker that I watched had said. They were upset over a return a return that eBay covered part of the money. Yes. And I was like, you're upset with eBay for covering part of the return. And what had happened was it was they 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 returned it based on is this fun or what? What what had happened was <laughs> See, what had happened was no, they sort of returned <laughs> it. The return was based on item not as described. And then when the when the person got it back, it was it had been worn, it had been stained, it wasn't in the original condition. And my yeah. my point is, there's an eBay policy already in place for that. Yes, eBay. If you do the return and you and and you're uh, a highly rated seller and you do certain types of returns, you can give them basically half of their money back through. Yeah. And this is an eBay policy that's in place. So. If you understand that policy, then you know that when you give them that 50% refund, eBay covers the rest. It's it's both buyer and seller protection. And yeah. that's how it's written up. That's how, And this person was mad that eBay gave the buyer back some of the money. They were not mad at the buyer. I mean, I guess they, they probably were, but this video wasn't about it. They were mad at eBay for covering half of the return Per their policy that they agreed to, basically, right? And so I just commented yeah. and I said, I was like, so you're upset with eBay for putting out money out there for you. And you're you're this whole video is about how mad you are at eBay. And so I was like, I just didn't quite understand why you would I mean, it's a policy that is in place. Yeah. If you understand the policy, then are or did you just not understand the policy in the first place? And so you're just now realizing that that policy was there and you're mad about that. I don't understand. What are your guys' thoughts? Yeah. Well, you know, that's a that's a, a good topic. You know, we do try to do some reseller sort of topics on here. And, yeah. you know, there has been, you know, some of that people blame eBay a lot. Yeah. You know, oh, it's eBay's this bad platform and stuff. And, and I'm interested, too. I saw some stuff from uh, Kevin uh, Commonwealth Picker this week or on his Flipper channel about a meeting that he had with eBay. And he's going to be doing yeah. a series of videos of, about that, that stuff of yeah some discussions that he had and and you know that is that that people blame ebay a lot for things right that you know this and so in this instance like jimmy's talking there it was the seller wasn't understanding the policies are there to protect protect them so that they can in the event that a person is returning something that is you know, they can do a partial refund, so they're not out altogether. And eBay was refunding right. the other yeah. portion of that money and, and they they were they were upset. And uh so Jimmy, let's let's drop Corey? in for a, to the opinionated one of the show. <laughs> yeah. Corey, devil's advocate, maybe? I don't know. Uh, in in my opinion, now in Here my opinion, I think it's very similar to our return policy. We offer free returns. We understand that's going to cost us a little bit of money over the long term, but it makes the experience better for everybody that's involved in a transaction with us. I think it's as simple as that. I don't know why anybody would be upset about it. It's, it's really weird what people will get upset about, but I mean, on TikTok, I think in my opinion, if you're on TikTok, you're a little upset already. (laughs) People just get really (laughs) angry over there. 
And, you know, I, I, I made the accusation of maybe it was just a little bit of clickbait. They totally denied it that the, that it wasn't clickbait. You know, that's fine. You know, it's, is it unfortunate that it's a, you know, this is something that's been laying the groundwork of this has been going on for years. It's not just eBay that's giving, you know, giving half a refund to somebody like this kind of stuff. The, the world, the country in general has been turning. Like we now live in a world where, you know, if someone's stealing a cart full of stuff out of a Walmart, the, the policy isn't to try to stop them and get that money back and stuff. It's to, We'll we'll try to take care of it. We'll try to take care of it on the back end. You know, have we have we have video. You know, we have, and we'll try to have the police help us with it on that way. And that's kind of how I feel about this. Like, we will try to take care of it on the back end. Like, we are going to get you know that that seller does get like a flag put on me. Like, it's a red flag. Like, hey, if this kind of activity continues, yeah. then they then they can be banned from shopping stuff. But they're not going to act on the first time. They're not going to you know, death sentence on the first act. And they're, and they're trying to take, make it as harmless as possible for everybody. I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I would didn't, uh, uh, didn't with that analogy. Didn't Billy but, Flipper actually run into an issue where they said he'd done it too many times and they weren't going to allow him to do it again for a while. <laughs> I, I wouldn't doubt that for a second. I think he did a video <laughs> about it where they actually didn't let him do a partial refund for a while. Cause he had done it oh, too see, many so times there, or something. There you go. That kind of adds weight to my whole thing on both sides. Because they do it to the seller too. I've had some conversations because I'm a concierge, folks. I have oh, that's eBay right. Jimmy concierge. Has concierge service from I actually, eBay. Hoo, hoo, hoo. I know. actually, on a whole nother level of what that person was talking about, I just had a return, and so I was upset with this with the buyer. I all my anger went to the buyer because they returned an Xbox that when I got it back, put a disc in it. They said it wouldn't read a disc. I played it, played three different games on it, no problem. But my problem, and I was going to just refund them and relist it. My problem is when they shipped it back, they just put it in the priority mailbox with no bubble wrap, no paper, no nothing. Just yeah. threw it in the box, in the same box I shipped it to them in with no protect. So it got some cracks, chips, dents to the plastic. So I called eBay about it. It's was like, what are my options? Like, this is, I was going to refund them in full. The thing still works, but now it's damaged. They said, well, gee, I had the opposite. My customers return stuff. No, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> well, my customers well, return stuff in better shape than what they told me it was. <laughs> they send you a new one. <laughs> they, they did. They said oh, we sold them. Well, they send you NIB. <laughs> we sold a bike seat that was new in the package and sealed. They said they took it out and used it and it didn't fit their bike and they wanted to send it back. They sent me back a brand new sealed one. <laughs> Yes. Really. <laughs> now you didn't you didn't check it was real the same way the bicycle seat the same way I checked Ray's hat when I got it, <laughs> did ya? It's it's in the bed on the pillow. Uh, <laughs> it's still in the bed. <laughs> it's, I didn't wake it up this early. Yeah. Jimmy's all hoity toity over there with his concierge uh, surface. Though, I got you know, they and he, they gave me a full they they covered the refund full. Because, anytime I've ever contacted eBay, I have to use like google translate you know <laughs> yeah. to figure out what the heck my representative is saying uh, just real quick i went to the ebay open in 2019 uh-huh i and i paid 400 something dollars i think and then you know the, the cost involved it was pretty high but i would have paid triple that for the concierge service that i got for going to that that's how i just so you know that's how i got it i was yeah. part of the package i would have paid triple what i paid that entire weekend to have that service because it's been amazing. It's been the best That's thing, cool. best per, best coverage and purchase I've ever made on it in any way, shape, or form. Almost better than any is car it, warranty I bought. <laughs> Not is it transferable? I don't. Well, I don't know. Can you just give Can us get a that number? number? Okay. <laughs> no. no in, so, the, in the description uh, below, we'll have we'll Jimmy's concierge yeah. number that we'll put uh, the way down concierge there so everybody works can... is I I request it. I request a callback. Mm -hmm. I say this is James, and I request you to call me. <laughs> and then they so they call me. I don't call them. <laughs> You're being ridiculous, Corey. They, they call my me. So anyway, that, that's a topic that you know uh, it could because I understand. I understand that. It could affect eBay fees, and it's why eBay's fees are so high and blah. But it's still the world. I mean, Walmart takes returns where the box is destroyed and the thing isn't. 
on Amazon, you can send them a trash, a bag of trash back and they'll still give you your money back. They don't check that stuff at all. So, I mean, yeah, is, is eBay trying, is eBay trying to do the best they can in the world and the circumstance they're trying to do the best they can. There's only so much they can do back to the donut. Anyways, I, think I was just wondering policy. if you were going to finish up this story at some <laughs> point. So I thought I'd eat my breakfast while you were. No, <laughs> Corey, did you happen to notice that how, how animated and up in the mic Jimmy was on this topic? And he uses, <laughs> he uses TikTok to relax. Yeah. Man, <laughs> I wonder how he gets when he's like watching uh <laughs> some right. oh, when he's watching the, the new season of quantum leap which should become as there, i'm oh. sure that's the topic that our viewers will be talking about right. over the next couple of weeks well, i get a quantum leap starts i really relax when up. i'm watching ohio state football like yesterday sonia will tell you <laughs> falling asleep on yeah, the couch try something a little less exciting like cocaine or something just bringing the <laughs> notch <Yeah>. down <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and there's the first drug reference from Corey. I expect many more of those throughout. <laughs> oh, yeah. okay. Hey, maybe we can get cocaine to sponsor us, you know. Or maybe I'm going to go downtown. Rogaine. I'm sure there's some dealer on a... <laughs> Did you say Rogaine? Yeah, there we go. There's some money. We got a we better shot at get. that one. Right. At Rogaine than we do cocaine. <laughs> I don't know. Corey's and en- Corey and Ken's energy level, we might have trouble getting that sponsorship. But I'll get it because I can't sit still for nothing. They both, they're the both coffee. really good at podcasts. They both sit there right in front of the mic like a podcaster is supposed to. And I'm over here jumping around like, and I probably drive everybody what, crazy. Hey, I, apologize. I know. What <laughs> what company, Corey, do you know any companies that make straight jackets? Maybe we could get one of those for Jimmy. You know, <laughs> he could just wear it on the show. We could strap <laughs> him down to his chair. And um, I know I know a uh, sponsorship Corey won't be getting anytime soon. What's that? I'm segwaying, oh, yeah. Ken. I'm segwaying, Ken. Oh, we will not be getting a portable microphone sponsorship anytime soon. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. So I, I don't know. Did you, I forget if you mentioned, you didn't mention that on the show. Corey, tell us, tell us about your, your faux pas, if you will, on your latest recording day. (laughs) I don't know why you're laughing. This stuff is not funny. (laughs) I found that hilarious when you told me, Yeah, I, you know, I, I was like, oh man, that stinks. But I was just laughing my I muted no. him to give an example of what happened. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sorry. That's an example of what happened. That is, that's a good example. I actually recorded two episodes of Grams and Pops Vintage with our mics on, and Graham's mic was live and mine was actually off. So <laughs> I thought it was on. It was off. And that makes for some I fun editing. Say the edit, huh? <laughs> I can just fun. imagine, though, though, that you know, just the the disappointment because it you know to film a video and especially the way that you do yours and with all the editing and and stuff and to to go watch that footage back and your microphone wasn't on <laughs> the yeah literally the sigh that was like probably an, that would, for me that would be like a 15 minute sigh of just i think it i was, could hear that more all the way whimper. from <laughs> a whimper <laughs> It was a it was an entire two hours of our morning gone, but I, Graham what? said it was a better episode. So, well, of course she did. Of course, your mic's off. That works for me. I'm the we did I mean, she is the star of the show. She is the star of the show. Just like anytime Sony's in one of my videos, star of the show. With zero doubt about it in my mind. I did a few <laughs> shows without Graham's, and then she came on, and I realized that. YouTube doesn't like me, and that's okay. Yeah, I'll edit Graham's part, episode. That's, that's <laughs> a unanimous thing across the board as well. I will but say shout out. <laughs> I will say shout out to Corey though for his editing skills. Yeah, if you go, if you've watched the latest or this week's episodes of, uh, well, I guess this is on Monday, so it would be last week's. Last week's it dropped, what, Wednesdays <laughs> and Sundays, right, Corey? Is Graham's and Pops Wednes- Vintage? Yep. Wednesdays and Sundays. If you watch those episodes, uh, you will not be able to tell. I hope. That if we didn't no, tell you no, no. that uh, his mic was not on. Uh, right. So, Except for the light on it. There was no light on it. That's the 
So yes. Don't they have a light or something you can see that's on? They're, yeah, so. they do. And mine was blinking the whole time, which meant it was in standby. <laughs> it, was like a, it was like a Christmas yeah. ornament. He just beep, beep, beep. <laughs> the funny thing is we recorded for two hours looking into a camera showing us the blinking light and never realized mine was blinking. <laughs> <laughs> but very very nice job editing though i watched it i i already knew i had you know for for warning or whatever it is that that he had recorded those episodes and had he not said anything i would not notice so that's very good you're wondering I mean, yeah if you're wondering what makes you a good editor it's it's desperation that that yeah. doesn't <laughs> And time, because Lots what did you it. say? 17, 18 hours of editing? Well, between the two videos, yep. Man, I, if I, I was down here editing a video for three hours last night, and I wanted to whimper. I wanted to whimper. It was me. mostly sound. Like, we had to pull the sound out separately and do a lot. Well, you can imagine. You were basically hearing me and a mic that was across the room. So we had a, we had a lot of sound work to do. <laughs> I and know I didn't know how to of- do sound work, so... You know, a lot of people that are that make videos or new people making videos, the question is always out there, what what oh, what software do you use for your editing? What software do you use for it? So Corey and all of your edits, what what software do you use for your for your video edits? We use DaVinci Resolve for the for the video and we use Audacity if we have now we use Audacity if we have bad sound. Would you say you have the Audacity? I have the audacity, <laughs> the audacity. So, and that's what you did. You went into your DaVinci Resolve. You pulled out the audio track. Mm-hmm. You took that over to Audacity. You tweaked it. You pumped up levels. You you got, yep. and then you imported that back mm-hmm. over to your DaVinci. That got us. That got us about two thirds of the way there in Audacity, wow. and then DaVinci actually has some pretty good sound things you could do in there too. And I just didn't know how to use them. So we, we've learned how to use them so we could get it the rest of the way. So I don't think I'd have got it without both pieces of software. All right. You guys have met your quota on the words, upload, download, and software for the episode. No more. <laughs> okay. <laughs> have we bored everyone. Yet? No, I'm just... Let me say, how can I say, Jimmy, what program do you use? <laughs> <laughs> Microsoft paint, Microsoft paint. <laughs> for those does all his video editing and on his Commodore 64, um, <laughs> like a flip book. No, I use what do, I use Filmora 12. I've I've had Filmora, you know, and I learned it so well. It's one of those things. I'm not the I'm not the greatest editor by any means, so I just stuck with the editor that I learned. Because I tried mess I tried messing with an Apple Airbook or something. I'm not dude wipes dude wipes. Um, you can like sponsorship moment right here. I f- yeah. I joked that that was like because I'm right handed. But dude wipe. I joke trying to use that the. Apple product was like trying to wipe your butt left-handed. Like it just doesn't work <laughs> for me. And that might be an awful joke, but that until you try it, that's the beauty part about dude wipes. They are ambidextrous. <laughs> and the they can, they can be used with the left <laughs> or right hand. And they're just as effective. Try dude wipes, mint chill. Mint chill. We don't even have a sponsorship yet, but we're, Hey, this is the work towards it. Right. We're getting they leave your fingers smelling minty too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and if you're like Ken, don't be like Ken and actually try tasting them, folks. Don't do that. <laughs> uh, so when when I do decide to edit, you know, a video, I've been using CapCut. Um, it's a, a, a free program, and it, it works on oh, the yeah. app uh, on your phone, and it also had they have a PC version, and they kind of you can start editing on one. And you can just go yeah, to yeah. the other one because it's kind of all an online process. So CapCut works works really good. Um, has you know a lot of robust features for a for a free item. Um, but as we all know, I'm not doing a lot of editing, and I need to step up my game. I don't know if anybody yeah. checked our Instagram pages or saw some of the stuff midweek. You know, trying to do some midweek promotion. We're trying to you know build on this this show here and. And get the word out that that we're back and that we yeah, have right. um, again at least for this week we have a uh, co-host yeah. uh, Corey <laughs> down here is uh, but yeah Jimmy and Jimmy and Corey both put out some cool Instagram 
uh, reels or Instagram stories. I don't Were they reels or stories? Were they just? Uh, mine was a story. I should do it as yeah, a reel. Mine too. Yeah, that um, just kind of like a midweek show promotion. Uh, and those were really cool. I enjoyed yeah. I enjoyed watching them. I enjoyed yeah. watching them mostly because I was in them. I was going to say you uh, were the star of mine, so you had to really enjoy it. <laughs> and, your your and joke hit well on that mine. <laughs> my, and uh, the AARP SSK promo oh, yeah. in there you're as well. But uh, yeah, those, that, those were cool. I And so you did both of those. Uh, Jimmy, you did yours in the, the film aura? Yeah. Yep. And, uh, you know, I want to talk about some because I was editing one of my videos and it okay. just made me think of this talking about using the editor. But yeah, I used Fillmore. Corey, Corey, you used, did you do yours? You used something else for yours though, right? I just used repurpose. repurpose. So I just took a chunk of whatever getting, I, I made, made like three or four chunks. What's that? Are you getting us an affiliate link to them too? No. Should I bleep that out? <laughs> no, I'm <laughs> just <laughs> Yeah, no, oh, you should work Jim, on that. Sorry. Speaking of one of your videos, I don't know if this has to do with what you're editing, but Jimmy, one of your latest videos is a, okay. When we talk, we joke around about not doing math on yeah, here. Sure. It, it, uh, this is based in facts, folks, because right. <laughs> Jimmy, go check out uh, Old School Flips channel or, oh, is it? It's, it's OSF Picker. No, I, I switched it back. It's old school switched flips. Okay, you switched yeah, it back. Yeah, no, I'm I'm trying to confuse everybody with my channel. At least for for this week, and you yeah. know the second week, third week in September, Jimmy is back to old school flips. The only old school <laughs> out there in the in the YouTube reseller community. But uh, man, I was my head was spinning. Right, listening to this. Do you want me to try to explain math. while I was editing it what happened? That's you yes, can try. I do. <laughs> All right. So you can try. Folks, go get yourself an Apple Hill donut. Look hello. What and, are those, uh, what yeah, are those strap in. things where you slide? What are, the, uh, what are those things where you slide? The abacus? Way? Yeah, go get yourself yeah. an abacus so you can keep up. <laughs> See, I don't do words. We've discussed this. So I it, still I use mine. I didn't. And I actually had the first comment about it, but I didn't realize the math was so bad on this whole deal until I was editing it. And that's why when we talk about the edit, it made me think about it. So this is the one where I um I the the video is called shorted like I shorted the money but it was about Kevin Commonwealth shorting somebody not me shorting somebody <laughs> when I edited it so I edited it and I walk up with three hats right and I'm like okay how much are the hats she says those two are three dollars and then this one's ten dollars and I was like well I'll take the three dollar hats or and then uh, so so I'll take these two that are three. And then she's like, well, you don't want this one. I was like, no, I don't want to pay 10. I'm pa I'll pass on it. She's like, how about five for it? And I was like, no, I'll still pass. Then she goes to me, and I didn't realize I did this. She's like, how much did I say on the other two? And she said, I said $2. So I already I shorted her right there. And she's like, okay, well, I'll give you this other hat for $2. So that we're at two we're at $6 now, right? And then she's like, I was like, how much for the belt buckles? And she's like, this one's five, and then this one's 10. And I was like, oh, okay, well, I'll pass on the $10 one. I'll take the $5 one. <laughs> and so she's like well how how much will you do for this one will you do eight for this one and so we're at we're supposed to be at nine plus five is what four, 14 plus uh, 10 we're supposed to be at 24 right is that yeah. right and when we're at, <laughs> we're at 24 but I, right. I don't know us. i'm so confused i'm so confused <laughs> I, I right now I, I gypped her on the hat so the hats are now down to six instead of nine and then she said five on the one belt buckle. So what's that? 11. And then wow. she said eight on the last one. So that's supposed to be 19, even with my bad math, right? We're supposed to be at 19. So I give, I hand her wait, a wait, what happened to the 24? Well, all, it's supposed to be 24, <laughs> right? So it's supposed to be 24. But <laughs> after I gypped her on the hats, we're down to 19, right? If you calculate the okay. fact that I gypped her on the hats, I'm a fr I it didn't do it on purpose. It just happened. We're down to 19. I hand her a 20, and uh -huh. they give me five back. <laughs> and, I, and I'm like, and, I, and when I'm there, I didn't realize it. I just grabbed the five and walked away. But in the video when I was editing, I was like, this guy gave me five back. So I, <laughs> I gypped them on the hats, and then they gave me the wrong change, and I didn't even notice. And so, like, I totally gypped them, and I shorted them. And it's... I, <laughs> So anyway, you got to see the video because it happens right yeah, now. Yeah, if if you too want to be confused by math, confused by math. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Jimmy can start his own series. You know where they had like 
hooked on phonics, you know, Jimmy <laughs> can start confused by math, you know, right. go over to old school flips uh, video. We have our links down in the bottom for our, um, uh, what is that thing called? The link tree thing. The link so you tree, can find, yeah. find all of yes. our channels. Yeah. So if you want to see J Corey's Wait. awesome audio editing and Jimmy's con confusion with math. Hold on. Editing tool right here. You're supposed to put a really high <laughs> spike in the audio so you know to edit it out. See that? I know what I'm doing. Corey knows what I'm talking about. If you Jimmy, up, you're to... how is he? How is he gonna? How is he going to know where there's a spike in the in the audio? When did you see Jimmy when he's telling Without that story? He's like, he's up there. He's eating my. He's in. He's in on it. It's like, I need to stop. We. I, I do. I need. A, all right. We need to more. get. We need to get Jimmy at like just a straight back, like a kitchen chair, kitchen table right. chair, so he can't rock back and forth. <laughs> and, it's awful, and, and I don't even notice that microphone until I watch it back, and I'm like, "What is wrong with that guy?" Oh wait, that's me. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't edit any videos, believe it or not, this week at all. I didn't take any videos. Uh, I'm more of a live guy. <laughs> yeah, I do believe it. Speaking of math, <laughs> I'm more of a live guy. I like to do the lives. I will be. Uh, Back, hey, I'll promote my channel now. We was, um, uh, Ken well, versus 10. Ken versus but, 10. That's already too math. That's not even math, and that's too much math for me. That's, yeah, that's uh, Jimmy's confused by 10. Well, he's mostly confused because I spelled it out Ken versus <laughs> 10 T E N, and you know, he doesn't yeah. do words and math. And so he's really super confused on that. I'm going to be back this week, uh, this coming week. If you're listening to this on Monday, it should be tomorrow. Uh, Tuesday, uh, midday. I think I'm gonna. <laughs> I think I'm going to follow um, the RIN network. I'm gonna follow okay. after after their show is over. So probably around that lunchtime, that that noonish time. And um, this week, I am. I'm gonna do a, a a solo show. I have been doing uh, Ken versus Ten verses, where I had a guest. And uh, and maybe I'll I'll open it up. I'll bring on a guest. Let them show something that's exciting with uh, one of their items that they're listing, or talk about something on their channel. But this week I'm going to be listing all Ohio sports items. You know, hey. Buckeyes are back in uh, playing uh, the Columbus Blue Jackets that are going to be starting hockey next week. You've got baseball season, you know, going on. You've got Cleveland Indians. You've got Cincinnati Reds. You've got uh, the Bengals. Don't look on so, Corey's face. He's like, I have no idea what you're talking about right now. <laughs> that's Oh, yeah. All these sports ball teams. It's a lot of hockey talk. <laughs> Corey, um, sports are where grown men and women compete against one another in some sort of an athletic competition. That's what, that's what sports are. So no, you walking around talking on <laughs> your cell phone does not count. <laughs> yes, Corey gets all these. I don't know. I've got the steps. <laughs> that's the that's Corey's sports. Is he talk? He walks while talking on his cell phone. It's good cardio. <laughs> <laughs> so what else we got? What else we got for the week, guys? Anything exciting? Thing coming up? Any any shout out you want to throw out to anybody what's what you got as we wrap this one up have any of you guys heard back from trash cash on your tickets yet or from kevin rather not trash oh cash. that's right we didn't yeah i have we're not just, we're two weeks out from that so yeah that's right the reseller rally coming here. up i've got nothing oh i bet i know what it was they were waiting for our physical mailbox yeah, to be in there so oh. i will check I will check the PO box. The, the address is down oh, in the for description guys to see tickets. to get our our paper tickets <laughs> for the special event. You know, because we all know they're gonna want oh the, the no, reseller clickbait podcast represented. You know, we're a big draw. Imagine. We're a big deal. We're getting lanyards and everything. We're not just getting paper tickets. We're getting lanyards. Yes. We're gonna and we're gonna be part of the part of the fest. We're gonna be part of the show. We're gonna be part of the draw. If you will, so I need We're to go and get busy. Of views, hundreds yes. of views, <laughs> hundreds, and that's all because we added Corey and his his watchers came over. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you all got, of all three of them. That's the only and, reason you're here right now. <laughs> and now that my family's going to unsubscribe to the show, you know, after I'm going to put them to work over there in the sweatshop next door, 
Man, we're, we're, our viewership is going to be down. But uh, great a, show, it's like guys. bowling. You just try and break 100. Great show, guys. Go check out everybody's channels. We appreciate yep. it. Old School Flips, Grams and Pops Vintage, SSK promo over there on Ken versus 10. And uh, we will catch you next time on the Old School Picker Podcast.